What's up, man? It's Frankie. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. It may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock because of anything that I say in this video. Also, don't vote on the proposals based on anything that I say in this video. Do your own DD. Look, you got some people in the community, right? And they supposed to be leaders in the community. So some of them, they take issue with me listening to Lou versus Wall Street. Here's how I responded it. I rather listening to I rather listen to Lou versus Wall Street than to listen to some of some of the individuals that the investors in our community. It's, I rather listen to Lou versus Wall Street rather than listen to listen to some of the shareholders in our stock that say that they leaders. See what I'm saying? Simply because of the fact that first of all, they've already shown me that they'll sell out. That's one thing. I second of all. I rather listen to Lou versus Wall Street simply because of the fact that at least he's not advocating that retail investors give up ninety percent of their shares. Also, man, he's not he's not advocating that retail investors just sit back, watch Adam Aaron not do his job, and don't say shit. Look, we've dealt with that shit, man, for what almost two years. It doesn't work, so I ain't down with none of that. You see what I'm saying? And see, look. I don't mean myself personally. I don't. I'm not a part of a clique. I'm not a part of no cult. I'm not a part, man, or anything like that, man. Don't nobody tell me, man, who to listen to. Don't nobody tell me what to talk about. Nobody don't tell me how to think. Nobody. Like I said, I'm not a part of a cult. I'm not a part of a clique. I think how I want to think. I listen to who I want to listen to. I value who I want to value. I control me. I control my, th my thought process. I ain't a part of no clique. You see what I'm saying? And I don't, you know, look, man, like I said this morning, I don't want to hear nothing that got to do with is the bank's phase six or end of it. And this is the reason why. Because the people that's pushing that kind of content, in my opinion, they have shown me, man, that they don't believe in the content themselves. You see what I'm saying? Simply because of the fact that, look, if they believe in the is the bank stuff, if they believe in, you know, phase six, the market crashing, and all that's going to be a catalyst for the short squeeze, then if they truly ache, then why wouldn't they just damn a hand like I always say? Why wouldn't they damn a hand and just wait on the more ads to take place? Why would you advocate and give up 90% of your shares? Almost all your shares. If you if you believe if you if you believe those things are going to be a catalyst for the Moas, when you want to have all your shares, when you want to have a thousand shares instead of a hundred shares, if you think those are things that if you think those things are going to be a catalyst for the Moas, when you want to just wait and down the hand, so man, it leads me to believe, like I say, some of them man don't believe in the content that they putting out there. It's just content, man, just being put out there just for people to make money and for people to get attention, but they don't really believe in it. And let me say this also, man. I saw your video, um, John Wick Sniper. I shared it on Twitter, man, like you asked me to. I saw your video also come on uh, Common Sense Investor. And I got to say, man, I agree with your video. I agree, man, that we need to start holding Adam, and Adam Aaron responsible, man, for doing something about the corruption that's taking place in their stock. Because if people don't do anything, if they don't, if we don't hold Adam Aaron responsible, man, he's not going to do anything. And I agree with, with common sense investor on this, on, on this point. Man, we don't need popcorn from Adam Aaron. What we need, man, is for Adam Aaron to do his job. We don't need to be contrary. We ain't trying to buy no popcorn. Man, we'll buy some popcorn when Adam Aaron do his job. It's just that simple. Because, see, the way I see it is this. If Adam Aaron can come to the community, right, and he can tell the community, he can speak to the shareholders. He can tell us, man, what he plan on doing as far as how to get new movies in. If he can tell us play, if he can tell us what he's trying to do as far as trying to play, pay the debt down. If he can tell us, man, what he plan on do, what he plan on doing as far as, you know, how to get, you know, some more revenue in why can't he come to the community why can't he come to the shareholders and tell us and show us 
what he plan on doing as far as fighting the corruption in this stock. It's simple. You come to the community, man. We've been dealing with corruption for what? Almost two years now. Retail investors, in my opinion, have probably lost billions of dollars due to, my, in my opinion, his negligent behavior. So why can't he come to the community and show us, give us a plan on how he planned on fighting corruption in our stock? Because that's his job. His job is not uh, his job is not just to run the company. His job is also, man, to fight the corruption in the company. You see what I'm saying? And see, my thing is this: if you got if you got a retail investor, somebody saying, man, that they investing in this stock, and they saying, man, they don't think, like I said this morning, they don't think it's Adam Aaron's job to fight corruption as for the stock. This is what I say: look, man, that person is not uh, not being honest with you or he crazy, or they don't have any money invested in the stock no more. They not invested in the play, or man, they paid off. It's just that simple. It's because see, man, why wouldn't you want to know as a CEO or as an investor, why wouldn't you want to do, why, in essence, why would you want, why wouldn't you want to do something about something that's hindering the productivity of your company, and your stock, the success of your company and your stock. You see what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you want to stand? Why wouldn't you want to stand up against that? Why wouldn't you want to fight against that? Why wouldn't you want to speak out? See, to me, man, for somebody to sit back and let their company, you know, get destroyed through through illegal naked showing and corruption over a two year period. They don't stand up. They don't do anything. To me, man, that behavior is not normal coming from a CEO that said that they care about their company and said that they care about their shareholder. That, that, to me, that's a reflection, man, of a CEO that's saying that they don't care about their company and their shareholder. That's just my personal opinion. You see what I'm saying? And see, retail investors, man, expect for Adam Aaron to stand up for up, to stand up for us just like we stand up for him. And no, one thing, and this this another thing, I'm going to close. Common Sense Investor said this. He said, man, look, it can take two to three years for Adam Aaron to pay off the debt. It can take two to three years. So what are we supposed to do, man? Just sit back for two or three years and watch the corruption take place while Adam Aaron, man, try to pay off the debt and then retail investors, man, lose billions of dollars and the company stock get destroyed while we waiting around seeing this Adam Aaron going to pay off the debt. And even if he pay off the debt, it's still no guarantee, man, that they're going to cover and that they're going to stop, man, naked showing the stock. You see what I'm saying? So, man, I mean, look, man, that's why for me, like I told you, I voted no on the proposal. I don't support the proposals that's coming from Adam Aaron and, and that's coming from Adam Aaron and Interior Capital. And man, and I don't support the theory of retail investors staying in AMC, man, waiting on a short squeeze play or Moaz waiting on fundamentals to get right. And I don't support people, man, that believe in you should just sit back, let Adam Aaron, man, do whatever he want to do. And man, you don't question his managerial skill and how you doing this job. Thanks for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.